before attempting to service or install the CL60 grid tie PV inverters from Schneider Electric. Wear personal protective equipment rated adequately for all potential hazards on site, following local, regional, and industry safety regulations. Ensure your upstream AC and DC breakers and disconnects are turned off and locked out and tagged out using LOTO procedure. Turn the DC connect to the off position and on the CL60A, perform LOTO. On the CL60A only, turn the AC disconnect to the off position and perform LOTO. Disconnect the PV string cables incoming to the inverters by disengaging all your MC4 or H4 connectors using the provided PV connector removal tool or manufacturer's recommended tool. Once all power sources are disconnected from the CL60, wait 10 minutes before removing covers. Measure for the absence of voltage using the appropriate PPE equipment and minimally rated 1000 volts DC, 400 volts AC meter. In this video, we will explain how to replace cooling fans on the CL60. Fans at or near end of life will indicate a warning, event code 070, within the LCD menu. The following tools will be required to perform fan replacement. PPE, a Phillips No. 2 screwdriver and a torque driver. Step 1. Remove the protective fan grate by removing the two Phillips No. 2 screws. Retain the screws for reuse. Step 2. Release the lower fan by removing the single Phillips No. 2 screw. Then, detach metal panel gently and press the locking latch on the electrical connector to fully remove the lower fan assembly. Step 3. Release the two upper fans by removing the single Phillips No. 2 screw and detach metal assembly. Then release the two electrical connectors and remove the upper fan assembly. This is a good time to clean the inverter heat sink and internal surface using an electrostatic safe brush or vacuum. Step 4. Install the new upper fans by reconnecting the connectors, then mounting the fans and reinstall the number 2 Phillips screws. Step 5. After the upper fans are installed, install the lower fan assembly in the same method. Step 6. Reinstall the protective fan grate by installing the number 2 Phillips screws. Step 7. Reinstall the PV cables and restore power to the CL60 following LOTO, site and jurisdictional safety procedures. Final step, ensure the fan alarm is clear and the CL60 is producing power. 